Welcome to the rocket profile of the Atlas Centaur rocket, the launcher for many surveyors, mariners, and pioneers. Atlas Centaur can refer to any of a range of launchers that flew between 1962 and 1989, most often it refers to versions of the Atlas D with a Centaur upper stage, but the rocket you see here is the final regular version with an Atlas G. The Atlas G had improved thrust engines and a longer booster burn time than the Atlas D, but the same basic engines. It was followed by the Atlas I, which deviated from the traditional Atlases with a complete change of the sustainer engine. For the Atlas D version, the booster engines were two LRA9-NA-5s with 758.7 kN of vacuum thrust each and a 282 second specific impulse. The boosters take in kerosene and liquid oxygen propellant from the same tank as the sustainer engine in the center, which on Atlas D was an LR105-NA-5 with 366 kN of thrust burning for 5 minutes and 37 seconds. The sustainer had a 311 second vacuum specific impulse. The Atlas G booster engines were LRA9-NA-7s with 899 kN of thrust and they consumed more fuel during their burns so the sustainer had a shorter burn time of 4 minutes and 5 seconds. This rebalancing of the burn times gave the Atlas G a better flight profile when carrying the heavy Centaur stage. The Centaur stage paired with the Atlas D carried two RL10A-3-3s, which each produced 66.7 kN of thrust at an ISP of 442 seconds, with a burn time of 7 minutes and 28 seconds. On the Atlas G, the engines were upgraded to RL10A-3-3As, which each had 73.4 kN and almost the same efficiency, 444 seconds ISP. So, since the higher thrust engines were drawing from the same sized Centaur tank, they had a reduced burn time of 6 minutes and 49 seconds. Various versions of the hydrogen-oxygen propellant Centaur stage have been used ever since its introduction in 1962 because it's extremely lightweight and efficient. Designed for the Atlas rocket, it was also paired with the Titan series. Plans to use it with the Space Shuttle were abandoned because in case of an abort, its fuel would need to be dumped and use of it would push the shuttle's capabilities to the limit. Between 1962 and 1989, Atlas has carried Centaurs 68 times with 56 successes for a dismal overall success rate of 82.3%. Failures were due to a wide variety of issues. Along the way, Atlas Centaur did succeed at launching Surveyor 1 through 7 to the Moon, Mariner 6, 7, and 9 to Mars, Mariner 10 to Venus and Mercury, and Pioneer 10 and 11 to Jupiter and beyond. On that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Atlas Centaur rocket.